And now, back by a popular diamond, it's Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I'm Ed. This is Joe. It's Game Soup, guys. Welcome back. It's been a long hiatus. Almost five months. We played, yeah, we, the last time we played this game was about five months ago. We had some technical difficulties. No, 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 we were just trying to build up the tension. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, we yeah. did have. You're, <laughs> you're right, you're right. We had some Because you told me it was technical difficulties. Were you lying to me? No, I just wanted to make the audience excited, you know? So we, we, we've gotten a few requests. People say, what happened to the game? What happened to it? This is what happened to it. It's back. I bought a new copy of it. That's the that's the short version of it. Yeah, that's the short version. And uh, I don't know. There were there were some bugs that we had some trouble with. And I, I think we're all okay now. Fingers crossed. It's working great so far. God, this game. It's it still feels. It plays like a dream. It plays like a dream. Yeah, you'll have to forgive us. You have to forgive Ed, I guess. First, I'll probably play the next episode, but. You have to forgive us because uh, we might not remember what just happened in the last episode. Because for you, if you're watching these in order, in a row, <laughs> you're going to remember what happened because it was probably ten minutes ago for you. But for us, it's been five months. <laughs> you know, there, and there, there is a way that we, oops, there is a way that we could have easily avoided that. And that would be to just, you know, watch the last episode before we started recording. But, but no. I'm not doing that. Nah. I, don't, I don't watch these episodes. I used to because I like to make the highlight clips, but... Well, now we I finally really can't make those anymore. No? Oh, I guess I can. Like, at all? What's wrong with them? I think they're funny. It's just a lot of effort. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. It's easier to make Let's Plays. Let's Plays are pretty easy to make. For some reason, there's a lot of them on the internet. I think it's because they're easy to make. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's why. I mean, you don't even have to wonder about it. It's because they're easy to make. They're right. fun. They are you just play fun. video games. Yeah, I mean, it's something you probably already do a couple hours a day anyway, so why not uh, put and it on the just, internet? And you just talk. And you just talk. Although, I don't really talk that much when I play games alone. You know, does anybody? Like, I don't really know how to be, uh... Look crazy, people. Oh, yeah. No, we... I do. I talk when I'm playing Hearthstone all the time. You talk out loud, right? Yeah, and I say we instead of me. I wonder if I should do this. Me. I always say, I wonder if we should do this. <laughs> you know who does that? Uh, Amaz. Yeah. On Hearthstone. So, you, so you're gonna be just like Amaz. You are the next Amaz. Gun! Push the shoot button to shoot enemies and switches. Alright, what's the shoot? Oh! Wait, you have a gun now? I have a gun. Do you have ammo? You just have a gun instead you of just, your hair now? You just have a gun. So well, you have just, both. It's... Oh, it's for puzzles. What puzzles? Oh, I see. So it's probably... Whoa! It's probably not as powerful as your hair then, I'm guessing. If you can even shoot enemies with it, which I imagine that you can. Yeah. Check that out. That's a cool... That's a really cool puzzle. You can't get through here unless you go in this thing. That's clever. God, the game design in this game. Already. Five months away, and I'm already blown away. Five months away? Five months ago? Yeah, five months away. Right. Like, five months away from oh, yeah, the game. yeah, five months different. Sorry for, yeah. sorry for trying to correct your English. Today. Oh, no, it's cool. Well, no, five months from now, we'll play episode four. Like, I'm the one to correct your English. <laughs> oh, did we also say this was episode three? I don't remember. It's episode three. It's episode number three, yeah. Number three. <laughs> and uh, hopefully three of many more. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this game. Because from what I hear, it's not... not... hopefully. We're, we're gonna finish it. Oh, Even yeah. if we have more technical difficulties and it takes us another five months, yeah. To get to episode four? Yeah, we'll be able to, uh... No, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine now. Yeah. We'll be able to finish this one. So we just got a gun, huh? Gun. That's cool. You gotta shoot the one on the left. Yeah, yeah to get back. That makes sense. That's cool. The way that they, uh, designed that to be traversed both ways and to get back, you need to get the gun. I love you that. You can't turn around and come back until yeah. you go out there and get the gun. That's pretty clever. So they're leading you around in a, in a pretty clever way. It is pretty clever. Now, was there a map for this game? I can't remember. I don't think there was. Um, no, wait, was be. there? I think there Hit was. L and R. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a sweet map. That's like a <laughs> that's nice, a... nice basic yeah. Castlevania style map. Straight up Metroidvania map. Metroid. I love it. Yeah. So we need to go up and to the left. All right. I really like the term Metroidvania. You don't? No. I almost never use it. Oh. I think it's kind of corny. So I usually say a game like Castlevania or Metroid. Because <laughs> that's uh, that just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it sure does. I mean, I wish there were a better name for it, but I mean, you can't really say, uh, can I, can I jump on that chain? Chain jump, Try go! It. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't remember if you could even climb in this game. I didn't remember this was even a game. I forgot this game existed. The Dude. other Shantae was on sale, too. We never had that one before. Yeah. But from what I heard about the game, it's very short. It's like, if this game is six hours, that game is four hours. Oh, really? I'm sure it's still an amazing experience. You know, it's not about the length of the game. It hardly ever is. Almost never. But, uh, I, I think... Yeah, whether it's a five-minute Flash game or it's a... Yeah. Or it's a long RPG, if you're... If it's fun and 
or at least interesting the whole way through, yeah, then it doesn't really matter the length. I've, I've actually seen a lot of dialogue about that on the internet recently. People are starting to wonder, you know, if games tout 300 hours of content. A lot of those hours you're going to be picking weeds yep. and selling them to vendors. <laughs> yep. so it's not that interesting. Now, I, ha I have a feeling that you're re referencing one game in particular. Are you referencing um, Dragon, Dragon Age Inquisition? Yeah. Because I am. Well, I, that's one game that definitely comes to mind. A yeah. lot of MMOs also come to mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I'm guilty For sure. of playing. For sure. World of Warcraft, I spent so many hours uh, collecting herbs yeah. and mining. God, it's so fun, though. If Final Fantasy XIV is not necessarily quite as bad, you can send out your retainers to do your farming for you. You can't They can't get it as fast as you, but you don't have to spend your actual real-time hours yeah. killing the same enemy over and over again. But it's not like you're going to save time. You're still going to be playing the game for those hours. Oh, my God. Yeah. One damage. Oh, yeah, it's super weak. Deals with one damage. Oops. Uh-oh. If you guys are looking for an MMO, though, don't cheap out. Just, just pay the monthly just, fee and play Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, I thought you were going to say play World of Warcraft. No. <laughs> you got to keep them in I mean, business, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. I guess if you've played it Crabs. for a long time, but if you want to get into a new game... I'm really sucking here. Come on. Stop this. Stop this nonsense. This is similar... I think this is similar to a, an earlier boss in the game, except there's two of them. They don't look the same, but there was another boss, I think, that just dashed at you and you had to jump I'm gonna over. Die. I'm going to die. I need to use an item. Oh well, yeah, we have, to... uh, that meat looks like it'll give you a... Meat chunklet stores a fair amount. What's a fair amount? Oh, that is a pretty fair amount. I like how they just wait. They're like, alright, you're gonna eat that meat? We'll just chill out here. Can we have a double jump in this game? No. I feel like I, 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 I would, I would like it. I want that, you know? <coughs> Bless you. I mean, Thanks. we're gonna edit that out. I mean, we're not actually gonna, but... No. It's just funny to say that, but I think that's kind of a, a an old-timey gig, old-timey gig <laughs> gag for... Podcasts and oh, Jesus. stop it and let's play. Oh my God! Okay, to say they're gonna edit something out and then not do it. Then not do it. These guys, uh, they live forever. They seem to. Yeah, it looks like you only do you only do one damage when you shoot them with the gun. But yeah. if, you, if you can get a shot in, I guess you might as well. Oops. Well, yeah, the description of the gun said even said it was like it's for puzzles mainly, and I guess you can shoot enemies, but why would you want to? Well, you just did a six hits yeah, there. I guess that's true. I guess that's worth it. Only in a Sean, well, no. I was gonna say only in a Shante game would a gun be six times weaker than your hair, <laughs> you know. But there are plenty of games where guns are like weak for no reason, or you know, comparatively. Yeah, it's just it's always a balancing weak. issue. Like gu Lord. guns are just better in real life. Yeah, yeah. Guns well, are just the superior weapon. So if you have a game where you can get swords and guns, as soon as you get the gun, you would never use the sword again. Yeah. If it wasn't balanced in some way, so usually the damage is the way that they balance it. Guns should it's always be one hit KOs in real life. You know. We just uh, no, it didn't. Okay, this is new. Yeah, like in Bloodborne, you know, you use your gun to stun enemies, but you have to use, like, an axe or, I don't know, some other weapon. Some physical weapon. Yes, let's save. Sir? Good sir? <laughs> one-hit KO? A gun is a one-hit KO? In life! Oh, yeah, you mean, well, you mean a one-hit kill? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I meant was a one-hit kill-out. KO. No. What if guns just knocked you out? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be nice. Pretty nice. Well, they have like those stun guns, those uh, like beanbag guns. You ever hear about those? The cops probably don't use them. Oh, I saw it one time on the news. Uh oh, this is a boss. I need some help. Frighteningly fixated flora. Look at that eyeball. Shoot that! Oh my god. That looks like uh, a tell. Uh, like a tell? Yeah. Like a William tell? How do you mean? Smash. You can tell when he's gonna shoot you because he shoots a little laser aiming and then the big one hits you. I think you have to I think you have to do this boss with a gun. It looks that way. You just got a gun, so I would imagine that that wouldn't be too much out of the question and hopefully yeah. the Oops. hit points are balanced for that. Uh it moves. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. This is giving me oh. So you probably wanna be on the side where the where the platform goes up, but how do you tell which they platform both go up? It, is it random? Oh, you shoot the opposite side. Oh, you yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stay oh. where you stay where you got the thing on the left side is going to pop up now. The eyeball on right. the left side. Okay. Hit that, and now you can... Whoa, get off of there. Oh, Jesus. That's that's pretty smart, actually. At first I thought it was the one just near you, but it has to be the one on the other side. Yeah. There we go. Well, we figured it out. We figured it out. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. I wonder if that will stay up forever. The answer is yes. Cool. Yeah, I would. looks like it. Oh, good. Okay, that wasn't too hard. That I feel was, like that was a pretty neat design. Yeah. A pretty neat, uh... Uh-oh, it's not over. Boss bat. Oh, okay. I feel like the first half of that fight was tuned for gun damage, you know, instead of hair damage. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. Juggled. Oh, duck, crap. duck, duck. Yeah, I, I should have done that instead of jumping. Duck, 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 goose. <laughs> you said it three times. I don't know. I just... I don't know, man. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Duck, duck. Your little B word. The B stands for boy. I thought it stood for oh. Bayou Billy. Bayou Billy. For the NES? Yeah. Oh, my God. You remember that title? Barely. I only know it by name because you had it. I never had it, actually. You didn't own it? No. I thought you owned it. Tecmo Super Bowl, you ever played that one? Uh, I don't know. That was the football game Only if we in the old days. Only if we played it on the show, have I played it? No. A delicious assortment of highly nourishing edibles. Five-star feast that retort. Oh, tons of health. Let's, um... Use the sushi. Alright. Bento box. Yeah, sorry, I'm not the greatest at uh, these games, but I love them. And anyway, oh, geez, that's it's hard to time really. You yeah, that have... looks that looks pretty tough. Tough and rough. Those are our two favorite words here on Game Soup. Tough and rough. In fact, those are our new names. Tough and rough. Yeah, that's hard to. Oh, there we go. Um, you know, you said you don't like the term Metroidvania, but I uh, I compel you. I compel you to come up with a better name because I think you can. I think there is a better name. That's a uh, I don't know. Two D exploration platform. Yeah, I guess so. But there's. Doesn't Mario even sort of fit into that? I mean, that's, that's definitely not a Metroidvania. 2D single world exploration platform. Single world exploration platform. No, because but some games have multiple castles or multiple large worlds, so that doesn't really even fit. Yeah. I mean, because Metroidvanias, they all have a very, very similar pattern. Oh, that, that's much faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Probably much faster. Doing that. Yeah. You know, like, they have these, these basic tenets that you can't, you really can't steer away from. Well, good job. Thanks, man. We did a good job. Hey, we got an achievement. Green thumb. We also got the achievement for not playing for five months. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Where Were You Achievement. Tinkerbats. That was a really cool boss. Fun boss. Get back here. He dropped something. Just labeled and everything. Spiderweb Island map. All so, right. oh, yeah. can we go to <laughs> Spiderweb Island? We have, have we not been there yet? I don't think so. I don't think we have. The Pirate Master will be able to draw. Okay. I better go tell Risky. Who is Risky? <laughs> <laughs> you remember, don't you? No. <laughs> She's the pirate at the beginning. Oh, that's that, right. Yeah, that, uh, with the purple thing, the purple head. No, no, that's Shantae. Bandana? That's Shantae. The purple bandana. Yeah, yeah, she's the one back in town who uh, okay, yeah. who stole Shantae's genie powers. Okay, I didn't remember. I actually didn't remember. Oh, <laughs> five months. This is the one, right? It's, yeah, return instantly to port. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything on the map here. No, I think we're good. Let's uh, let's go back to town. Use that pirate flare. Activated. I want to. Uh, I, I needed to get some track pants, some swoosh pants, you know, the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was going to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. Certainly, oh, let's see what's, let's see what they're saying here. An evil dungeon and a giant monster, and this is risky, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought she had a purple ha hat. She's purple. She is purple. purple clothes it's and even a red worse. hat. Yeah. It's even worse to be purple. Where did you get that pistol? Oh, I found it in some ruins. <laughs> it works. Ah, well, it's Risky's pistol, that's why. Man, I, I love how high definition that art is. You know, it's, I don't know, it's well done. It's not pixelated or anything. Except for the sprites, those are pretty pixelated. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that art looks well, so good. Well, it was good. made for, wasn't it made to be on, like, 3DS or something? Oh, originally it was on Game Boy Color. Yeah. But, I, I don't know if this has been ported to other systems, I'm sure it has. Pirate yeah, the Master. original game was for... Was it Game Boy Color? Or Game, Boy Game Boy It was Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color? Yeah. Okay. It was really... I'm sure these aren't the sprites from that, then. No, no, no. They look so good. We're, We're probably just fun. saying stuff we already said on the other ones. Well, this is a brand new experience for everyone, then. Because, uh... You haven't watched for five and a half months, and neither have we. So it'll be like the first time. Right? Spiderweb Island. Oh, yeah, so let's see. We were just on Saliva Island. We missed two octopuses. Octopi. Let's go to Spiderweb Island. That sounds that sounds real safe, right? That sounds ominous. Oh, maybe we should go get some uh, some heelys, some equipment to heal some ourselves. Some shoes that we can roll around on. Heelys? Oh, yeah. that's what they're called. Yeah. yeah. This is Spiderweb Island. 
Did your Next parents ever have two hundred and fifty dollars to burn when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> because he was my oh my mentor. We never had Heelys. No. Are those really two hundred and fifty dollars? I don't know how much they are. They, they got to be pretty expensive. No, they can't be that okay, much. Okay, maybe they're not. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not saying. They got. They probably have to pay a lot in insurance, safety insurance. They probably get sued every day. What? The the company? Yeah. I don't know. Kissers are rolling into traffic and stuff. They probably make you sign a waiver or like uh, by wearing these shoes you agree to our terms of service, which is uh, everything is your fault. When I make a program, when I make some software, that's going to be the EULA. It's going to be everything is your fault. Oh, were you going to go back to town or no? I was thinking about it, but then I stopped thinking about it. Cool. I think we'll be okay. You're the boss. I am the boss. Only for now, though. Once you play, you'll be the boss. God, even this, look at this, the, the, this is definitely a, this is a Castlevania, straight out of Castlevania. Zombies that rise up from the ground. Yeah. Super weak. Love it, I love it. It's so rare to find a, a game fresh with this pop. much polish. Flesh pop or fresh pop? Oh, I didn't read the problem. It's flesh pop, you know, it's from a, a zombie. Restores a bit of health, there we go. <laughs> so you're eating a, a meat of a, of a human? You're eating or the meat zombie? of a zombie that, that came with the stick. It was meat on a stick, and it somebody wrapped it up. Candy and trash. Candy and trash. I think that was a bit from a comedian or something. Oh, candy and trash? Yeah. That's Wasn't an it? oddly specific bit. I th I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't make that up. Who would so. do that? Who would do, who would do such a thing? That's what a lollipop is, candy and trash. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Well, here's the thing. Was it Mitch Hedberg? It might have been. Probably. I don't know. It that sounds, sounds like, like it sounds like a Mitch Hedberg. So. Yeah. Although everything that's that's genius and awesome, I want I want to uh, credit him with doing because he's he's great. Mitch, we miss you. Come back. Come back. Come back as one of these. Yes, yeah, as, as a zombie. All right. I guess I should stop grinding for uh, rubies. Man, these zombies are loaded. So I was at this at this. Uh, oh yeah, I, I had to get some some swish pants the other day. Oh you yeah. You know, yeah. for the gym. Exercise pants. I didn't yeah. have any. Sure. So I was going to go to Dick's. You know Dick's Sporting Goods? Yeah. I was going to go there, but then I got to the parking lot and I looked to the left in the same shopping center. There was Ross. Ross. And I was like, I like to dress for less. <laughs> I'll take man. a gander. <laughs> My man, Ross. Uh, that, was, that was a mistake. What, really? You ever been in a Ross? Yeah, I it's, love Ross. It is a mess. It is a mess. It's a disgusting mess, but uh, it's a great place. There's just clothes all over the floor. Just things on the floor. Yeah. Everybody shopping there, just just drooling all over themselves. And also, it's insanely crowded, and the uh, they only have one cashier, ever. Yeah. It's kind of like Walmart in that way. So I'm looking at their very limited selection. I luckily did find two pairs oh, that oh. fit pretty well. I took them to the fitting room. <laughs> the, the, lady, the, the lady that was working at the fitting room had so much makeup caked on. She was so out of it. She looked like she didn't know what was going on. I could have just I could have stolen all of those pants if I wanted to. Well, she was just handing out the tags, right? The uh, yeah, yeah, the, you know the tags. For yeah, the dressing room. I'm sure that's a mindless job. How can it not be? Now I have a question. How do I get up here? Try the the branches to the right there, maybe. Oh, you can jump through that tree. You're so smart. Yeah, go up. There you go. Let's that's do how it. you get up there. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh mercy. Oh mercy. Look at that ghost. He's so friendly. Uh, he's not that friendly, I guess. He's so I'm waiting in line for the one cashier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have this maze of racks the leading spittle, up. Yeah, the spittle maze? Oh, just a maze of racks. Yeah, okay. it's just a maze of racks, and every rack is just covered in snacks and chocolate. Mostly chocolate. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm thinking the people that shop here, they just can't help themselves. <laughs> They're going through. Yeah. <laughs> They're going through, wait, waiting in line, and they set this up perfectly. Yeah. And I was like... Looking around me, every other person in line was a fat lady. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I was right. They can't help themselves, but I didn't see any of them buying chocolate, and you know who bought chocolate? You. Me. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. So it looks like the tables are turned. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on. Every every grocery store does that when they put gum at the checkout. Every Target and Walmart does that when they put yeah, candy at the checkout. Yeah, but I mean, this out. is a maze of it. This oh, is yeah. Like, oh, I know. I love it. It's, um, yeah. A maze of snacks it and, is a and, and chocolates. It's a maze because uh, you start out one side, you go down this long, like they have it sectioned off with velvet ropes and everything, you know? Right? Or like, uh, what are those things called? Oh, they have a wicked name. Like, uh, 
the stands that, that block areas off. End caps. No, no, they're not end caps, you know? know? They have these strange names. Anyway, there's rope, you know what I mean, though, right? The ones that have rope suspended between them so you can't walk around. And they design it like a giant maze so you have to look at all the candy when you go through. They do it for, like, convention centers when you're trying to check in. Keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was talking about the... I want that chest, though. Yeah, I don't know how to get it. And also, I want to know what these guys are doing. Yeah, I don't think you can hurt them. I tried shooting them. But it didn't work. Was I saying what you were thinking, guys? Watching? Sorry. It's alright. It's guess... hard to talk and play games at the same time. I want that. Yeah, it is very hard to talk and play. But, you know, we've been doing this a year. You figure we'd get better at it. I'm sure we have, in some way, but... Yeah, we in need that ways. little octopus heart. There's got to be a secret way in. Gimme. Maybe from the other side. Yeah, maybe. Like the next screen over. Maybe we can get the ability to walk through walls. Turn into a ghost. Hello, sir. Or ma'am. Sir. Oh, yeah, and I don't know. I was going to tell you about the cashier, but she was out of it. She was she... just another out of it lady. I don't know. Sure. I mean, can you imagine if you had to work at Ross? Looking at all that candy all day? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Tell me about it. Roddy Tops. I don't know, I used to work at GameStop. I've worked in a retail place. Yeah, yeah. At least. What are you doing here? And a video store. When those were a thing. Yeah. Blockbuster video? Did you work at Blockbuster? No. Did you work at Video Update? No. Did you work at Hollywood Video? Yes. <laughs> the web jokes. Roddy Tops. She a zombie? She looks like a zombie. Ah, she must be a zombie. Mm -mm. You know, I'm starting to think that this game and Undertale have a lot of uh, similarities in their senses of humor. You know? You think so? A little bit. Just in the way that the jokes are delivered. Like if the main character in Undertale could talk, these conversations might be some of the things they would have. I can't abandon you in the woods, that would be much too grim. Ah. In time! Oh no. It's a timed escort mission, everybody's favorite. Okay, so I well, can't- Well, at least you're carrying her, she's not like following you with dumb AI. They did this, they at least did that the right way. So this is awesome, you can't attack. <laughs> <laughs> they just take you- Okay. One hit kills you too. Yep. So let's talk about this for a second. You can't attack, you only, the only thing you can do is jump and run to the right. Yeah. And one attack will kill you. So this is like, uh, like a minigame. Sort of, yeah, oh but it has the God. same controls. We were talking about this on another game. I don't remember which one, because we play a lot of games. But there was a game we were playing where they... Oh, it was Gunstar Heroes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they use the same mechanics. Right. In this case, it's just running and jumping. But they do something unique and different with it. This is very different, and I was not expecting anything like this. But I like it. For... Mainly for one specific reason. The game so far has been pretty slow. You know? Because it's up to you to, to jump and platform the way you want to do it. But here, this is really fast. This is really... Ooh! This is so you speedy. have to do it fast, though? You don't have to do it fast, but I mean, like, look how fast you run. Yeah, and, and the music is kind of yeah. making you want to do it fast. Yeah, like, everything about this is setting up a scenario where you're rushing through as fast as you can. It's a nice yeah. change of pace, you know? And yeah, music plays a bigger part in games. I don't know. It plays a big part in games. Yeah. I don't want to oh, say yeah. bigger than you think, because probably a lot of people do think that it plays a big part in games. And I don't want to insult those people by no. understating their their understanding of the importance of music in game. But it does, though. It definitely does. Going back to Undertale again. That game. Uh, that game had dynamic music. If you did a genocide run, the music would change. Oh no. Did you finish your pacifist run on that game? I'm almost at the end. I'm thinking maybe I'll just record the end. Just the footage at the end that's new. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you were going to record it at all. I was thinking about it. Yeah, so far, uh, nothing has changed really. Very, very, very few things. Like, some of the... Oh, God. Some of the dialogue wow. is different. That was exciting. Yeah. These are straight out of Super Mario World, too. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm glad that you were... I'm glad that that was... That you were able to get through that. that I was, like it was more exciting to yeah. watch in that way. I like this a lot. This is really fun. This is not something I expected to happen in this game. Oh no! Yeah, I thought something like that was gonna happen. Yeah. It was too easy at first. It was just too easy. At least they give you a little warning though that they, they like poke out the little triangle on the end. Yeah. Hmm. I think you gotta do this in one. one uh, I think you're swing. right. Yes. One swing. One run. One swing. 
one movement of your legs. Why can't why can't Roddy Tops run herself? Oh my god! I think it's strange that one hit kills you, but I think it makes sense. Plus, there's no real danger. You're not going to get a game over here. In this context. In this context. Fun. Yeah. I think it's appropriate. Oh my god. I'm really glad that she doesn't run on her own, though. Yeah, I know. That, her own. that would be hard. Although, if she did run on her, her own, own hit points and... Yeah. Or in this case, her own single life. She just gets hit. <laughs> the AI is stupid. And you uh, you just lose. Oh, man, it just keeps going. All right. Hands. Hands, the movie, the game. Off my rocker today. Off my game. Five and a half months will do that, huh? I feel like I'm a retired uh, NFL player and I'm coming back. Come back to play the new game. New game next season. Madden? Madden. 16? I feel like I am Madden. What's this? Nothing. All right. Do they say TNT? Yeah, they do. Uh, I know it's going to happen. That implies explosion. I think this is TNT. That's what it looks like. Maybe it's just like Scribble, you know? Maybe it, it doesn't actually be a Scribble. Well, some of them are walking, and I don't want to know what... Yeah, yeah, they, they must explode. They must explode. If they don't, I want them to. Maybe only on Ooh. contact. Wow. Whew. That, that was a real tricky... That was trickery right there. Uh, it was they trickery. They saved the hardest part for last. Like that, this, was gonna come, this that one's coming out. Mayor. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that one was... I knew that one was bad. It feels good to have your control limited in a way. This, this is super, super linear. But it, it makes it very obvious, like, what your challenges are. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather a game be linear than to be lost and not know where to go next. Yeah, especially for a section like oh, oh my god, <laughs> this is cool. Especially for you know a section in a game like this that's normally all about exploration. Yeah, it just keeps going. Yeah, I think it should be obvious where to go next, but have the option to explore if you want to make a game that's about exploration that isn't entirely linear. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I like how this is the first thing we do on this island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should I trick him into going to the left first? Yep. So long, B word. Is it a duck? With one eye? I think he's kissing the he's, he's making like a kissing face. It might be a robot or a statue. Stike, I don't know. Maybe it's a robot statue. Huh. He's also wearing purple undies, it looks like. Done. A lot of purple in this game. There is a lot of purple in this game. Well, there's a lot of color in general. Like this zombie is very green, but you're right, purple is the most dominant color. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this one's gonna chase you all the. No, he's not. They just explode. Right as I said, he's gonna chase you all the way down. He just runs into a wall. Look at he that. Just dies a horrible death. <laughs> yeah. I like how they just explode on contact. These are real creepy ones. They are kind of weird. What are they? What are they? Are they like... I don't know. Just keep moving. <laughs> I don't want to look at it anymore. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Oh, and there's more of them. There's a million. Oh, okay. This is the one. Okay. Oh, that's not too hard, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, if you just keep going, but no. You actually have to use some skill and patience here. So here they're combining some of the previous mechanics. They're combining mechanics together now. Yeah. They're combining an enemy they just introduced with an old, two old mechanics. Wow. One, the hand enemy, and two, the the spikes. So I'm expecting to have a statue appear pretty soon. Yeah. I feel like we're getting close to the end here because they're combining all the yeah. mechanics that they've introduced. I love that. Yeah, Game Design 101, you introduce components separately so the player can get used to them, and then at the end you throw them all together and see what happens. And in cases like this, it gets really hectic. Yeah, like if that was the oh. first room, you would have had a. It would have taken you a lot more tries because you yeah. wouldn't have understood how all that stuff behaved. Yeah, but as it is, we've gotten plenty, plenty of practice with all those concepts and more TND. So you want the player to feel challenged, but not frustrated. Oh, I feel like I should have seen that one coming. Why didn't you warn me? Unless you're making games specifically that's supposed to be really ridiculously difficult and frustrating and. The player knows what they're getting into. Like, I want to be the Bashi. Yeah. Or like Other than that, Meat Boy, they leave pixels. Oh God. Well, even those games, they, I mean, a game should be, if it's going to be difficult, it should still introduce you to concepts at a rate that is appropriate for the player sure. based on the game concepts, based on the mechanics. 
you know? Yeah. Like, Dark but Souls, the, people always the, say. The, the difficulty curve is going to be a lot uh, steeper yeah. on a game like that. But, but there's, those type of games. there still should be one. Right. That's the key point. There should still be a difficulty curve. They're not <laughs> They're not going to be your first platformer. Like, this, I could see this being someone's first platformer. This is Babby's first platformer. I guess it could be. That's although what, That's what Kirby was supposed to be. Really? Yeah. Although, you know, I imagine that Mario was most people's first platformer. Yeah, probably. This, most this might be a, a Mario, some Mario game. This could be somebody's first Metroidvania. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Okay. Yay, old man. Done. We did it. I think. What if that was just the halfway point? It was. Oh, wait, isn't this, uh, doesn't that thing give us... I think we get something if we... Oh. We're supposed to like collect these or yeah, something. Yeah, that's funny because we can't attack. Yeah. He's in so plain sight. probably got to come back here. Hungry, hungry. That's clever. So, plain sight. Plain sight. You just have to remember that it's there. Which I think we can, we can do. We were just here. So we you want to go left, yeah. I think so. Well, well, maybe this is a different tree. No, this might be a different tree. No, it's a different tree. Never mind. We've been going to the right the whole time, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Unless the whole world was circular. Unless it was a loop, yeah, it's like a sphere. Maybe we ran all the way around the, uh, all the way around oh, this the planet. This guy looks cool. What's with the peel trim? He's a zombie too. I like the design of this guy. Yeah, it's really cool. Abner. What a goofy name. That's what you get for being a zombie. got something I've needed to say. Oh. He just moans for like an hour. Bad calls. Man, I wish we knew the backstory for these characters. Don't you feel like you're being left out of the loop a little bit? Yeah. 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 You sound like it too. But like these characters clearly have a backstory. But what is it? Well, we're friends though. We're friends. We're square. Devil's Poe. So this guy's probably like a bad guy in the other game, then, from how he's talking. Well, also, I'm assuming that Risky was the bad guy in the last game, Risky's Revenge. Yeah. Could be wrong. But seeing as how we're playing the games in reverse order, Heart Squid. And that's the end of my argument. Poor Poe. Is this recording? Is this backup recording? Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, the gain is very low. Oh. So you hardly see it. Hello? Somebody at... Yeah, we get a lot of calls here at the Game Soup office. Sure. We have a lot of uh, a lot of advertisers and record deals. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. And uh, and that ring in particular is from our new donation hotline. We're running a 24-hour uh, telethon marathon. Not only is it 24 hours a day, but it's also 7 days a week and 365 days a year. Look in the link below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of... I mean, seriously, though. That was a joke, but we are now... I can't get up there. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know if you can. But where do I go? Game, tell me where to go. Ooh. Wow, look at that. That whole middle section just doesn't exist. But, uh, yeah, now that we're on the subject, we we just inserted into our description. Uh, if you're interested in donating to the show, uh, help us get the new equipment, or, you know, just, I don't know, if you feel like we've earned it, a couple bucks. Every little bit helps. This is not our uh, full-time job. Although, it'd be cool if it was, right? Yeah, kind of cool. But I don't want to be like those other channels that plug away. So I'm going to end it there. But if you feel like donating, check the description. Yeah, we don't want to do advertisements. That's no, all we, espe we especially don't want to do YouTube ads. Yeah. Like monetization. Give me that. Give me that soul. Because that's a waste of your guys' time and our time. Yeah. Brought to you by Audible. Burger King. Burger King. What's uh, Dark Magic? Well, I guess I know what it is, but Cursed Cackle Beats. Cackle Bats. <laughs> All right, so we got that item called Dark Magic, but uh, does nothing. Hungry. Can we feed it? Hmm. Hmm. We probably missed something. They're screaming at us. Squids. There you go. Squids? No, it's not no. squids. Those are collectibles. We need those because of our hearts. All right. Did we? I think there was a dead end to the right, wasn't there? You. You don't have a. You don't, you're not carrying that lady anymore. I'm not. 
so maybe we should go back. That zombie lady. So yeah, maybe there's something you can. <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's tell that's a pretty clear way to tell us that yeah. that's not what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. That's good though. I'm glad there was something because imagine if we went all the way back through. Can we can we feed this uh, dark magic to this uh, this this hungry thing, hungry demon? I don't think so. Hit the hit the hit the R button on that menu. Yeah. Oops. Wrong menu. Monster milk. Nah, that can't be it. Nah. All right. Well, let's just uh, keep going. Okay. I'm sure we'll find it. I wish I wish we had a double jump. So you can get up there. Can you go left here? No, I'm pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't tell me that was the expected route, because it was kind of hidden. Ah, oh, it was. Hmm. It was. Alright. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. The area that you can explore there, just now, was it's very really small. very small, so, yeah, you might try everything. It's like locking you in a room that has a secret switch. Yeah, it's a little unexpected, though, but, in yeah. this game. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, it's, it's, I think it's, it's fine, in this sense, because you can't really go anywhere, you can't really get lost. Wagon parts. How about giving me a double jump? Alright. Oh, this. We were here before. The axle. <laughs> we need some squid oil. Hmm. What? We found four. <laughs> do we have to give him one of our... Yeah, can we just grind up one of these squids? We don't have any squid oil, do we? Nope. Well, just grind up one of these squids. Grind. How do you grind? Alright. Well, he told us there's no squid oil on there's no squid on this island, right? So there's probably no squid oil on this island. So I imagine we're done here. Is that possible? Woo. I guess it's quite possible. I'd be surprised though. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think, J O, Joe? I don't know, man. Have we been? Have we been everywhere on this uh, map? Well, it looks like we can't progress here. Because it looks like we needed a double jump. But we did pick up dark magic that apparently did nothing. Hmm, maybe we need it somewhere else. Shove off? Sure. She said Den of Evil? We're yeah, going yeah. to the Den of Evil? Well, that's there's a Den of Evil in here. Oh, yeah. So Spiderweb we... Island. Yeah. So we can't go to uh, Flying House Island. But we can go back to Scuttle Town, and we'll pick up some gear, because we might need it. Ammo Baron. Man, the animations are so... Have you ever played Ghost Trick for the DS? No. That game has the smoothest 2D animations I've ever seen. Ever. It is beautiful. Each animation has a, billi a billion, literally a billion frames. It looks great. Talk to me. So they hired like uh, a few million artists? Something like that. Yeah, they must have. I want to talk to this guy. Alright, well I know that shop is around here somewhere. Hamo Town. Wait, was that the whole town? I thought it was bigger than that. No, I'm pretty sure that's it. I think we're back. I think this is the overworld again. You're right. You're right. Alright, let's go back to that shop. Oh, you know what? Is there more to the right? I think there's more to the right. Unless that's where we came from. Nope, there it is. So what is this, the tears shop? Yeah. Potions. No. Sell me something with C. <laughs> Quick. I guess that's probably to restore your health. Or I think it might be health restoration. Yeah, like a free refill? Yeah. Yeah. Squidsmith. Ah, okay. This... More health for you. Heart holders. Not oil, though. Right. We need oil. Is four enough? Is four I what we need? I think four makes a heart, yeah. Okay, cool. So now we have four. Didn't we start with two? I remember what we started with two and we've already gotten our third one. Did we? How many do we have? I think we had four just now. So now we have zero. Well, obviously we weren't supposed to use them to make oil. Right, yeah. I mean, the game wouldn't put you in a position where you couldn't progress because, you know, yeah. you couldn't get oil. I wonder if it's something you can buy, though. I feel like that's an item you just go and buy, you know? Super Pike Ball. 
Oh, look at all this stuff that we can do. Pistol tune-up. Does that make our pistol more damage? Yeah. More damage. Back dash. Back flip to recover. Power kick. Faster whipping. More damage. How about a double jump? <laughs> all right. That'd be sweet, but I'm pretty sure they don't... I'm pretty sure a double jump would... They wouldn't waste that mechanic yeah. just as a shop item. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's, uh, we'll buy some potions, some pot ions. No, 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 no. Buy, uh, let's not buy an auto potion. Maybe we should upgrade the gun or upgrade a weapon or yeah, something. Yeah, for sure. Let's do that. Or your hair, whatever. Hundred, something like that. I think we already have these. Oh, we, we do? can buy more of them. Maybe. Probably. Not, not now, because we're out of cash. Oh. Good job. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Backdash. Quickly evade your attacker. What do you think? Want to get it? Yeah, yeah, I do. Anything else? Yeah, with my uh, 24, 24 gems. How do you do the backdash with the L button? You, aha, it is the L button. It's the L trigger. So that's another Metroidvania staple. It's also really fast. Is it also faster to travel by backdashing than by running? Uh, I don't think so. It looks to be about the same. Yeah. But it's much it's less efficient. Like running to the left and keep going back to the right. Hey, sir. So squid oil, huh? What do you think? I think we'll get it on the next episode. All right. Is now a good time to call it then? Yeah. Well, let's do it. We want to thank you for coming back after five and a half months to play Shantae with us. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.